Hello, I'm Rupert Smith. I'm a spoken word performer. Uh, this excerpt from piece of writing is based on Shakespeare's King Lear, writing from that. It's about two lovers on the run, in exile, uh, faced with the trauma of possible food anxiety uh, in the UK. What was it the poet Szeslaw Miloš said? One life isn't enough. I'd like to live twice on this sad planet, in lonely cities, in starved villages, to look at all evil, at the decay of bodies, and to probe the laws to which time was subject, time that howled above us like a wind. The truth of that howl does something to my skin. It must be hunger, because my pores have evolved into stammering baby cuckoos with mouths, if not yelling, then complaining. The last time I looked, we were in our glad rags at a cute little table for two with Tiffany lamps and velveteen drapes. We were eating out posh at the great season. And the head waiter told the packed carvery there was food when there was none. The garçon, dozy doing round with black trays held so high, you couldn't see what was on offer. Did you clock that not one of them made it to table? They might as well have been hoisting umbrellas. It was like watching Charlie Chaplin's waiter act in modern times on repeat, with the whole balancing act of giant roast duck and magnum of frascati slowly passing into myth. The storm that was brewing blew the revolving door so fast it was wrenched off its hinge, but that may have just been diners leaving. At the end, the great season were rushing out Sunday glasses full of nothing but seeds, Germans. They couldn't dig out of the ground fast enough, prematurely blown out into the cold light. Sometimes speech can sound like a menu, and you ask me, what am I eating? What am I taking in? The joining up of words is like some god-awful oily art, a spillage of glycerine for pratfalls and for 98% of us to be proved wrong. One thing I'll always wonder is if I'll ever be able to have more than I show and speak less than I know. But I am a refugee from the Thumb Wars going in way over my head in what I'm dishing out. My opposing thumbs opposing each other as well as opposing the opposing thumbs of others whose screens are exploding with stories of chronic lack, like horses. My keyboard is a thumb trampoline and my cuticles creep up to half-mast, nail beds puce with long-suffering and rednesses echoing like a transponder. Please tell me. No one knows where we are. I won't need a horse where I'm going, you say. So lay down your device. Press your puce thumbs hard onto the rope. There's a splash of green down there on the face of the cliff. I'm going over the lip after it. <laughs>